a long time since I baked. Let's try this. Hopefully, it's gonna come well, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Chic Odyssey. Hopefully, everyone will use my receiver and just a very simple one because I had complicated st stuff. So, to my people who like simple, simple things, you got me. I got you covered. Let's go. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to bake banana bread yes we're gonna bake i love baking and it's been a long time since i did this so i want to do it with you guys um we have a big dish african way we have this to make us fit all the flowers and everything and um we have the all-purpose flour yes we have the olive oil and dry yeast and these bananas i kept them like for two weeks two weeks it's good because i love them when they're very soft we have the butter the butter makes the bread to have a very very good taste we have the baking powder i like put baking powder when i bake the bread sometimes because it makes um the bread being having the fuller like it's, it's full and with the yeast it makes it more um expanding i can say we have sugar, we have salt, we have lukewarm water because when you bake with the lukewarm water, it just makes um, your raisins when you put dry yeast, whatever, raising so well and the bread becomes soft. And I have a cup which I'm gonna measure the flour and everything. Bake with me, yay! We're going to add all the dry ingredients together. So I'm going to use four cups of flour and then I'll mix sugar, salt, yeast, baking powder. And on my side, this works so well, like mixing dry ingredients together at first. Although the other people, they just put um, sugar, salt, yeast, baking powder, and the flour in the water, like they mix together. But to me, I prefer doing this because it works so well on my side. Then I'll add some oil um the total number you can see from the video and then i only used two bananas because i wanted the bread to taste more banana and um, i like it that way because it's becoming more taste and not so dry like it's moisture and um after that i'll just keep on mix slowly so that the banana should be mixed so well and then i'll add lukewarm water this makes your dough um very moist and um when you want to make it rise i mean um to increase in size it's so easy because the dough is warm and yeah so i did a mistake i i did put a lot of water that's why you can see, you, you see the dough is so um very very soft but anyways but it helps to make it um come together That happens when you put a lot of water in your um baking time yeah but anyways here goes the dough as you can see it i keep on mixing and mixing mixing well i like using my hands and um although i don't own a machine right now but using hands i prefer it most and um i enjoy you know playing with the flour and everything yes this is a very simple recipe that you can do it at home it does not cost a lot and these are the ingredients that you can find and access any place that you are either in africa or any other part of the world yeah the dough as you can see it's ready and when i apply some um, butter on, on the um utensils because i want it to not stick and makes it um rise very well and when i do this means i see if the dough is ready to be raised um or not yes that's the african way and i covered with a plastic bag yes i i just try to find another way of covering i could not find i was like this is the simplest way so i took the um preserving bag and there we go traditional way ha 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 and when you want to bake it's not a must for you to have um specific utensils you can even you use these disposable ones which um they're very very good and it's just amazing guys being able to to have this because my husband does not have like um, a specific baking pan so i was like let's just find something that can work so well trying to adapt the environment and using whatever that you can get for the time being we are done mixing everything and raising up the dough. Yes, um, I left it stay for so long time because I was doing something, but here we are, big, big buns. 
Hey, I'm gonna put it on the um, um, oven for some time. So normally I like baking around um, 30 to 40 minutes and um, um, I usually like to put around um, 280 or 250 depends because our oven is so cool does not burn um, around 280 or 250 so I'm gonna work on that. This is my second time to use an oven and so I'm expecting magic from it. Okay, so we're checking how the bread is doing. And then, oh, sure, sure, sure. Ooh. Finally, there goes our barns. I want them to be bigger because one, we can eat two people. <laughs> That's a lie, guys. I like eating bread so much. So, mm -hmm. let's see how it's gonna be. How it's gonna go. Yeah, but they look so delicious. I like the brownish, and I cannot wait to taste this. Thank you, everyone, for watching and keep on subscribing, liking, comment to my channel. And um, if you have any question concerning the baking, please leave your question down there. If you have any question that is not concerned the baking, just also feel free to ask. Thank you. See you next time.